This is my homemade 800 watt water cooled LED flashlight, producing about 72,000 lumens of light. It's made from 8 individual 100 watt LED chips connected in parallel, producing 9,000 lumens each. The cooling system is from cheap eBay computer water cooling components. Water is pumped from the reservoir through the two aluminum water cooling blocks that cool the LEDs. That heated water then goes through the small heat exchanger and then back into the reservoir. Here's how I made it. I applied some thermal paste to the bottom of all the LEDs and spread it into a thin film. I then secured them in place with a dab of superglue. Each parallel LED has a large 1 ohm resistor in series. I bent the resistor around the backside of the water blocks and just connected them all with this breadboard and some solder. The next step was to make a frame of some sort. I got some aluminum bar from the Home Depot, bent it into two loops, and then separated them with a piece of plywood. I fastened as many things as I could by tapping threads into the aluminum and securing pieces with countersunk machine screws. However, I'm pretty sure I can't do that to the water cooling blocks without causing some sort of a leak. So then I glued the LED array onto the frame with some epoxy. And now it's time to figure out the plumbing! This is the little water cooling pump. You might recognize the centrifugal impeller concept from my other video. I did some surgery on this plastic bottle and sealed the pump inside it. In order to get the lenses mounted so close together, I used some epoxy to bond the lenses onto the reflective housings, and then I used a disc sander to grind away at the edges and more epoxy to glue the lenses onto the LEDs. The light is powered off of three 3-cell three lithium polymer battery packs connected in series to produce about 36 volts. This is a super cheap flashlight which claims to produce 500 lumens of light. And this is a very high power LED flashlight made by Thrunite, which pumps out 1050 lumens and has a very directional far throwing lens on it. My light by contrast is relatively wide and more like a floodlight. I'll be using these lights for comparison with my water cooled light. All these tests are shot at a fixed exposure in ISO settings. Like a 500 lumen. <laughs> 500 lumens and then a lot of lumens widespread. <laughs> yeah, you light it all the way up. It's overexposing now. <laughs> okay. 500 lumen flashlight. Yay. 1050 lumen flashlight. Yeah, yours is a lot better than mine. A lot of lumens flashlight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, low beams, high beams, and giant flashlight. Woo! Way better. Oh yeah, there we go. That looks exactly like the naked eye. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> All the light. It's 12.09. We're in a farmer's field here out behind the Whitman Mission. We have a huge flashlight. Oh, that is the little fl 1050 lumen flashlight. It's a good flashlight. I like it. But you know, you can always have one that's more powerful than a car headlight. You done? Nope. Nope. Okay. So freaking bright. I had a couple of these little water cooling blocks that I used for testing earlier, and just for the fun of it, I added three more 100 watt LEDs on top, bringing this thing from 72,000 up to a nice even 100,000 lumens. Here is a fuzzy picture of Palouse Falls, taken from 400 feet above the water. I'll probably put this thing back to how it was though. Thanks for watching.